I tell you what, you get things done in the Senate because of Kelly. Uh, she uh, She's a leader and gets it done. Now, good friend, the quiet and shy, early riser, Neil Cunby. <laughs> Up late, so uh, I, uh, I think you're one of your guys was kind enough last night to send me a message after nine and didn't call because they knew that I'd probably be horizontal by that time. <laughs> you know, I uh, it's an honor and a privilege to be able to serve as a member of the legislature from District 39. We're actually in District 40, 39 doesn't start till we get down the company road. But when you look out uh, across the lake, uh, just on the other side of the water, if you look at most any map of the state of Florida. That's called the Cumbie Settlement. I've got probably half the people that live for the next two or three miles that direction are related to me through marriage or, or through blood. That's how you want, right? <laughs> that's exactly how I want. I, I, I'm, I'm saying this to make a point, and I will tell you that I care about those people over there. So I'm here today because I care about those people over there, but I care about who's going to represent those people in Tallahassee. And I will tell you that Rick Scott is the hardest working man in Tallahassee, bar none. Uh, it's unbelievable. I, uh, I have been involved in this business for an awful long time, going back uh, to the mid 80s. And uh, I've worked with a number of governors. And I will tell you there's nobody, whether it's a governor or a legislator, that works as hard as this guy does. I don't understand it, other than uh, I think he really loves the, the competition. He loves the success. He likes to see others succeed. That's the only thing. And and I, one day maybe we'll figure out why he goes so hard and, and, and works so hard on behalf of the people of the state. It's absolutely incredible the way he goes. Uh, on the other hand, the alternative is Charlie Crisp version 3.0. And, and, you know, the thing about what we've been faced with, what Governor Scott, Kelly Stargill, and others have been faced with for several years now are some really strong headwinds from Washington that makes it difficult to, to grow our economy. Uh, constant headwinds, policies that make it difficult for entrepreneurs and employers to expand and grow their companies and help us grow our economy. The, the way that we all improve the quality of life and the standard of living is to grow the economy, expand that tax base. And the way you do that is with policies, policies that are friendly to business, that create a climate that's good for job creation. Uh, who's governor uh, matters a whole lot in this state. And I do uh, like seeing Christy Bass as part of Teacher of the Year. And I went to the reason for it. Before I got back up here, but uh, there are teachers that support Governor Scott as well. I promise you, a lot of them. And uh, make no mistake about it. But it, it's important who's governor because there's there's policies that come out of the governor's office. There's political appointments that are made and will be made for the next four years. And we don't need the same headwinds in Tallahassee that we've had in Washington. If Charlie Crist were to get elected, he would follow the Obama playbook. Yeah. This new, this, new, this new political life that he's promised and is pursuing is brought to, to all of us on behalf of Charlie through the Obama people. And he will be forced to follow the Obama playbook. And that will not be good for Florida's economy. Thank you, Elliot, for allowing us all to be here today. Thank you, Governor Scott, First Lady Ann Scott, for paying attention to Lakeland. There's uh, a number of these out here that show where the early voting locations are. Make sure if you don't know, pick one up, pick a couple up, give them to a friend or neighbor. Be sure to vote on election day. Be sure to vote for Rick Scott for governor. Thank you all.